Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today, I want to show you why the HP T620 Plus has become an ultimate home firewall and routing appliance. First off, the T620 Plus is the largest sibling of the T620, which was great, but it's a lot smaller. So this is a little bit thicker of a machine. It has more ports, but more importantly for our purposes, it actually has a low profile PCIe expansion slot. Now, they're cheap. You can buy these things secondhand for anywhere from about $70 up to $110. You'll get a quad core AMD Jaguar CPU. You'll get 16 gig SSD, and you'll also get four gigs of RAM already installed in these things. There's some models that have a little bit more, but that's the base and that's what you need, exactly what you need for a firewall appliance. Powering our HP T620 Plus is an AMD GX420 CA SOC. And this is a four core Jaguar uh, SOC. It runs at about two gigahertz. It has ASNI, which means that you get crypto acceleration, which means for things like VPN or uh, other areas where you might need crypto acceleration, this thing has it. The cool thing about this is because it's a low power platform, it also uses only about five to six watts at idle. Under load, as a firewall appliance, you might get it up into the 10, 11 watt range. So overall, very low power and noise wise, this thing is virtually silent as long as you're about two to three feet away. You just won't hear it. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. We're gonna look inside, see all the little features, and then we're gonna install a quad port NIC so that way we have a five gigabit LAN firewall appliance. Let's, take a, let's open it up and take a look. So let's open this up. So the first step is you're gonna move to the back of the unit and you're going to pull this little tab, which releases the back panel. This pops right off, it's very easy. The next thing, and this is really cool, HP actually designed these to be more or less toolless in terms of their serviceability. So what that means is there's this little tiny green uh, slider here, and if you pull this green slider here, it moves some levers in the background, and then you can actually slide this top directly off. And it gets even cooler. So if you look inside of this unit, what you can do is you can pull this little green tab. So there's another green tab. And then the unit opens up, and we can see what's inside. Now, the SOC is actually on the other side of the PCB. But internally, we have kind of a basic layout. Now, this is actually the Jamestown Revision A motherboard. There's a Revision B motherboard that I think doesn't have this MSATA slot. But more or less, for our purposes, revision A and revision B are basically the same. So what you'll see is you'll see the M2 slot. So this has a SanDisk 16 gig uh, SSD. You also have a PCIe Express uh, by one slot, which you could use for something like a Wi-Fi NIC if you wanted to do that. Under here, you can unscrew these. And there's two SODIM slots. So you can use DDR3 SODIM memory and actually expand the memory footprint of these boxes. The T620 Plus is single channel memory, so you really only need one DIMM, and we have a four gig DIMM under there. Um, but what we're really interested in is this right here, which is a PCIe by 16 slot. Uh, it's actually PCIe, I think, by four electrical. But you can see that we actually have a little cutout here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to install the quad port Intel NIC into the machine, and this will be great for something like a PFSense appliance where you wanna have a lot of network ports potentially on your firewall. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this, um, and I've tried this on a number of different units. The easiest way I've found is actually just to go and get this, you need a low pro profile bracket, but if you actually just keep this thing in its spot, this one has a little cable here, but uh, you can actually fit this in. And with just a little bit of fitting, you can get it positioned right. And then it snaps right in like that. You can then close up the unit. So this is what the T620 Plus looks like when it's all buttoned up. You can see that the only drawback to this is that the NIC is actually set back pretty far. So you have to sometimes stick a screwdriver in or something flat to be able to push the network cable and pull it out. And once you're done, you have an awesome PFSense appliance that has cost you, you know, $20 for the NIC, maybe $80 for the 
T620 Plus. So you have about a $100 appliance with five network ports, and it'll actually perform decently well while being quiet and not using a lot of power. So these things are all the rage. We're also going to, in a few weeks, look at the next generation, which is the T730. And we're going to look at what that has to offer as well. But if you're looking for a cheap firewall appliance, this is it.